Hi, I'm Paula from Paula's DIY Decor and welcome to my channel. I'm the crafter from Down Under and today I have a special DIY. I want to share with you how I made this dough bowl using faux items in my household. Now to get started you're going to need some cardboard, some plastic bags which I did not use in the end and some sticky tape. Using sticky tape, I just put together two pieces of cardboard I had lying around in my craft room because my dough bowl measures around 28 inches by 14 inches. Using this uh, wooden platter, I created a template for the base of the bowl. Once I had traced around that, I cut it out with some scissors and then using a bamboo skewer, it's a great way if you mark your bamboo skewer about one and a half inches, it's a great way to actually measure out the sides of the bowl. And that way it's nice and even and you're not gonna have a wonky side once you start to sticky tape the entire bowl together. But once I had traced out the sides of my bowl, I realized it was just, it wasn't high enough and it looked more like a tray rather than a dough bowl. So I added another inch at the end and then I cut it out. Using one side as a template, I then created the second side to complete my bowl. Next, I started to actually put the bowl together. So again, using some sticky tape and some of that template side that I had just cut out using the cardboard, I started to put the entire dough bowl together. The reason I used sticky tape instead of hot glue is because I needed the flexibility that sticky tape gives you to be able to raise the edges. But then I realized as I was bringing up the sides that it wasn't really bending in terms of the rounded edges of the dough bowl. So I made some little snippets around the corners of the dough bowl and that gave me then some flexibility to bring up the sides in that curved format and it worked out perfectly. So it's very similar to when you're covering a rounded piece of crafting item and you put little snippets so that it curls perfectly around the edge. You're doing the same with the bowl as you can see here. So using your sticky tape, just keep putting snippets around the sides, especially where it curves, so that it can stand up nicely. The other thing that I you will notice is the sides aren't standing perfectly perpendicular to the base. I did have them on an angle because a lot of dough bowls do slant on an angle and I wanted to create that slant on the sides. And then I cut out about a half an inch strip and I started to create uh, more of a lip or an edge to the dough bowl. And again, using some sticky tape, just adhered the sides down onto the bowl. Again, to create the rounded lip, I used the old bamboo skewer trick again, cut and uh, marked the skewer by about a half an inch and created a nice template for the corners of the dough bowl. Again, using some sticky tape, I then adhered the corner lips or the rounded lips to the dough bowl and it came together quite nicely. I then went ahead and reinforced the entire dough bowl with some extra sticky tape front and back. Wherever there were any weak points I just put some double tape because it, it does need to be able to carry some florals and artificial greenery as well so it can't be too flimsy. So here is where I had loads and loads of fun using some multi-purpose filler or you can use spack filler or whatever you've got on hand in terms of filling cracks. This creates a great medium for you to start to design a wooden grain look. So this is where the cardboard starts to transform by simply using this hack this multi-purpose filler, which you can use as a hack to then create a gorgeous wood design. Now my uh, filler was a little bit old and dried out, so I had to use my fingers to spread out the, um, the, wood the spack filler, 
normally you would use a, a spatula, but um, I needed to just get rid of all the little lumps and bumps that sort of had created and calcified inside my spack filler. Once the tray had dried fully, I left it for quite a few hours to dry. I then decided that I wanted to start building out the sides of my wood bowl. It was still a little bit thin and could and was looking a bit tray-like for me. So I used some impasto medium. Now impasto is great for crafters who like to create multi-dimensional surfaces to use with stencils to create a raised surface. So the benefit of the impasto as well for this dough bowl is that I used this popsicle stick to start to create a wooden grain and you'll see me doing that in a moment but the impasto is great to start building out your projects and making them just that little bit thicker. So using the edge of the popsicle stick you can see me here how I'm creating a wooden grain and it's really important this step because you do want it to look like a wooden dough bowl and usually dough bowls are scraped out, they're cut out using a whole range of different tools and so I wanted it to look rustic and a little bit farmhouse but it's also um, with the uh, little wood grains once you start to paint it it really then starts to come alive and look like a real wooden dough bowl piece. If you're liking this video, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell so that you can be alerted every time I upload a video. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I love to create seasonal decor, home decor and beautiful tablescapes. And if you're an existing subscriber coming back, thank you so much for those gorgeous statements and feedback that you leave me every week. I really do love reading them and hopefully you uh, get a chance to read my responses in return. You truly are an inspiring community of crafters and I just love creating these DIYs. So back to the project, you can see me here using the popsicle stick to create kind of like a bit of a swirl with the leftover of that impasto. And then once it's all dry, it's now time to really bring this DIY project to life. So I used a dark brown, white, a cream colour and a black paint and I'm going to mix a whole range of these colours together to start to bring dimension and life to this dough bowl. I did sand the project down so the dough bowl is now nice and smooth. I sanded that outside and to get started with the painting it's all about layering. So I mixed a, just a dab of brown paint with some water to create a nice runny stain and then I started to use the foam brush but realized that it was catching on all of the bits and pieces of the impasto and the spack filler so I uh, switched over to uh, and of course I ruined the brush so I switched over to a normal paintbrush and then gave the entire dough bowl a nice wash of this lovely light brown stain. Don't forget to do the back of your project. It's really important because sometimes you can see the underside of the dough bowl. So I went ahead and uh, whitewashed or sorry, stained the entire dough bowl with that lovely light colored brown stain. Then I used the dark brown paint to start to create dimension to the dough bowl, focusing on the inside corners and then also focusing on the outside corners, wherever the a dough bowl had a corner or a crease is where I focused the dark brown and you can see here that it's really started to bring that dough bowl, bowl dimension to life. Just like if you were looking at a real wooded dough bowl, it's got dark corners and crevices and I created a few little knots, faux knots and some uh, little um, lines down the uh, base of the dough bowl, just like you would see if you were staining a, re do a real dough, bo dough bowl, <laughs> it's hard to say fast, but a real dough bowl where it might have been scraped and the stain really picks up that darkness. Then I decided to mix some of that cream colour with the brown to create sort of a medium strength brown. Again, you can use whatever colours you like to your taste. I wanted to create um, a bit more of a darker look of a dough bowl and I just then started to fill in wherever I could see some white poking through from the uh, spack filler or the wood filler and of course the impasto. 
And really, again, it's all about just layering and layering and using this uh, more stiffer brush. I used that to really get into where I had really scraped out those designs on the side of the bowl. That, uh, that particular paintbrush was really great at getting into the crevices of the sides of the bowl. And I filled out the entire bowl wherever I saw a white gap. And then once I had covered the entire bowl, I mixed a little bit of dark brown with black and I went over again the creases and the corners of the dough bowl to give it that extra dimension. Creating wooden faux projects is all about dimension, it's layers, just keep going using all your different colours until you get the type of wooden look that you're after and it's satisfying to your eye, just keep going, it's only paint, you can always go over it if you make a mistake. I think it turned out really, really well, I was absolutely delighted with the look of this dough bowl. No one would ever know that this started off as a cardboard project. Here is the finished bowl. I thought it turned out absolutely stunning. I'm so delighted with this project and super easy to make, absolutely on a budget. And here's the fun part now. We get to decorate the dough bowl with florals. I decided to create a beautiful spring, uh, spring-like colorful green and white uh, decoration with this dough bowl. So just using some greenery I had in my craft room, I used uh, a range of different types of ferns and different eucalyptus leaves and I popped a, um, uh, what do you call it, a hurricane glass in the center of this dough bowl with a beautiful big candle using some of those green hydrangeas and white hydrangeas and just whatever you've got lying around, pop it into your dough bowl. I use some beautiful green, uh, white florals and just intersperse them around in an arrangement. I'm not a florist, I just create my floral arrangements according to what looks good to me and just really filled out this dough bowl so that it looked abundant and beautiful and fresh and green and white. And I thought it turned out absolutely stunning. I thought I'd have a little bit of fun and change out the design and by just taking out the hurricane can uh, hurricane glass and the candle I just inserted two green bunnies and created a little bit of a festive dough bowl centerpiece. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. I've thoroughly enjoyed making it with you and for you. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great week. Bye.